Hello guys, this is Sinaki here. So in this deck, okay, I choose, uh, of course, Effect Valor because you you need the Effect Valor in the deck, okay, in, in order just in case you need to special summon Elugion directly. So Effect Valor is a light and it's a hand trap. And then uh, the Spion Comedy, this is also one of our combo piece. Uh, it can actually stop your opponent's uh, trigger ability. And you have your Despian strategy. So this is also one of our key card advantage source. Uh, Maxi Urara is of course, I mean the Ash Blossom is of course what we are going to play. Uh, instead of playing two Effect Valor, I choose to play one Ghost Ogle. Uh, the main reason is because I drew it in a pack and I have it. And the second reason is because now you, the, the main target that you want to destroy most likely is like Mirror Jade, uh, Lubelion or Elevion and something like that, right? So you want to destroy them instead of like just negate them for like that one, one time. So I personally would like uh, the Snow Rabbit more. But of course, if you don't agree with me, you can go with whatever you want, okay? You can go with either the PSY, you can go with uh, Effect Valor, just as long as it's light and it's a hand trap, okay, that's it. So the choice of this one is, of course, the key parts, the Dark Worm, the Fall Ablers, the Aluber. And then this is one of my addition is the Merc Courier. So this one is also considered a hand trap when you have a fusion monster in the play. So just in case if you like uh your opponent wants to do anything funky, you can actually just use this to negate that. Uh our key part also, Norris, is just good. Uh the Trauma Dutch is just for your OTK when you're going second. Uh this one is also one of the, the piece that you usually use. So next is moving up to our milling package. So the foolish barrier is of course send your Dark Worm in uh, if you already have either Aluba or you already have Branded Fusion or if, if you have like Branded Opening also works so if you have either of them okay you use Foolish Baron you just going to send Dark Worm in and then your Dark Worm is going to search for the King uh, Gate 0 and then after that you will have your first turn discount combo so if not okay of course you can just send the Tragedy in and then you can get Aluba and then you will have the normal Despia branded Despia okay opening okay it's just that strong okay and then of course the dragon shrine I mean dragon shrine is like slightly narrow because you can't discard the uh, Despian but this is one of your, your combo piece uh, because that one is limited to one so you need to send the dark worm into your graveyard and this is the card that you will use to do so and also it's very very good if you are going to play the Psy Gamma uh, as this card will actually trigger your opponent Ash Blossom most of the time so you can have your Sai Gamma in, okay? But if you're going to play Sai Gamma, I would like to actually put one of the space, I mean, just clear one of the space and then try to put one Synchro Creature if I can. So it's very depending on how you want to play, okay? So next, uh, Render Fusion, okay? This is the key card that you send your Norodus into the graveyard. Uh, the Despia Theater this is one of the key card that when you're going second, you want to OTK your opponent as well. Uh, Super Polymerization is also, when you're going second, is very important. Uh, this one is to counter hand trap okay branded opening is very good it's the addition to aluba and also when you have your dark worm sometimes in hand so you need the branded opening to a special summon the aluba in order to get your branded fusion because you don't have two normal summons right so yeah this is sometimes that why i think the brand opening really helps the deck so the branded in red of course just a normal game you can use it to special summon your guardian chimera okay so you already see how good it is when you are going first. So let's see how good would it be if you're actually going second or how good would it be if you are not playing with combo. Okay, so let's move on to the next replay. So now we are in another game that we are actually going second and our opponent is actually playing Sword Soul. So as you all know that Sword Soul is known to be one of the best mid range, I mean mid range type of deck. Yeah, it's just going to have so much you know uh advantage and we without any hand trap right so this is the one of the main reason why i don't like to play side gamma because you're going to play the frame driver and just imagine if this uh, effect valor you know the whole game will, might be the totally different situations okay of course in this game uh, that is not so that's why just now after this i actually changed the deck list to one uh effect valor and also one snow rabbit yeah Okay, so our opponent is going to have the crazy field. Um, 
Chi Xiao and uh, Qi Xing Long Yuan. Okay, together with the Taiya, it is going to special summon most likely the Adaman Sipator. Yeah. Adaman Sipator is going to negate our spell and trap. And he's going to have two set cards as well. So we have no hand trap. So we let opponent do everything you want. And we can't stop him, right? So this is just how bad it is. So let's see what my opponent do when I summon Eluber. My opponent decided to use Chi Xiao. And I decided to use Super Polymorphizations. Okay. And the Adaman Sipator cannot okay, interact with this because uh, the Super Polymorphization cannot be interacted. So I actually choose to play the Despian Quadratis, which is just like a uh, kind of like defend. Okay, because I can actually turn their attack into zero. So it's going to force them into action. So my opponent actually used the Forbidden Droplet and I'm going to use the Brander in red. And my opponent have to dis just counter the uh, Brander in red so that um, the effect will go through. Okay. So in this case, uh, my ability cannot be used, then I use Branded Fusion finally. And then I'm going to Special Summon with the Light and going to cast for Alubion instead. Okay. So if you want to go for the Dark one, of course, you have a strategy, you can have like uh, more card advantage. But in this case, I really want to just get uh, Alubion, okay? because my Alubion can use the effect and Special Summon the Luberon and then actually trick out my opponent's the uh what's it the name again the chasing long Yuan's effect okay so the ruberon actually come into play with the Arabian effect and then i get my mirror jade and i negate his adaman spater and i'm going to attack with my mirror jade and my curtis so the Arabian is going to get me another branded in red and i set it into the field so now pass back to my opponent so my opponent decide to just special summon the Tenyi Spirit, okay, and he's going to get his Monk of the Tenyi. So uh, he's going to have a lot of effects and bounce my card because my Mirage already used the effect, so the Mirage cannot do anything now. But I can still activate my Curatis effect to turn his creature into attack zero, where I want. But I'm not really sure at this point whether this is enough or not. And my opponent just go with another Chi Xiao. Of course, Chi Xiao Taiya is going to bring him a lot of card advantages together with the Monk of Tenyi. In play, he's going to have like the whole graveyard again okay, to be played. And he have his uh soul, soul strategies as uh, Long Yuan as well. So he's going to have his finally his Baronet. And the Baronet is going to destroy one card and also banish one card. So the solution now is because my Mirror Jade has the ability uh, to destroy his whole field. So this is the time that he's forced to negate with the Baronet. Okay, so this is the tricky part. So after that, after he do so, okay, I decided to just turn his creature into zero attack. And then he cannot attack anymore. And then the Baronet already used the negate effects. So... Uh, I am going to use the ability again. Okay, this is to trick my opponent's Chi Xiao's effect. And then I'm going to use the branded opening. Okay, I'm going to discard the card and get the Alubo. And I'm going to cast my Alubo for another branded fusion. So the branded fusion, of course, I'm going to use the, the card in few. And I'm going to special summon out again another Mirajit of the Ice Blade Dragon and then my Ice Blade Dragon use the effect send the uh, Alubion into the graveyard so later I can actually search another trap cards I mean another spell cards and I'm going to set my Branded in red and then I have the Branded Fusion in hand for next turn just in case so I have the branded in red means I can destroy my opponent two cards in the field later before it's in turn. So my opponent, okay, despite having really good fight and also a crazy hand start, he decided to concede here. 
Okay guys, so this should be the end of the video. So if you are interested in the deck list, please check the description below. And also I still have my Discord group ongoing. If you guys interested in like knowing this kind of funky junky deck that I actually learned from some of the Japanese YouTubers or some of the Japanese channel, okay, please follow me and also please send me information that if you have any deck that you would like to see them in action and you think it's funky, just let me know. Okay, so this is Inaki. Really thank you for watching this video. I hope you can subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment for me as well. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys around soon.